Hey, how's it going guys? Today I want to share with you 10 daily tasks to do in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The very first thing I like to do is by pressing ZL, going to Nuke Miles, pressing the plus sign, and then you get to see all these like daily achievements that you can do that are pretty easy to accomplish. So you can get some extra miles. So once you have an idea of what to do, then you can kind of go about your day. Number two, which I unfortunately don't have, is checking the mail and smacking the door. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, check the mail. If you ordered something before, you might have a, a present or somebody sent you an item. So always check your mail. It is uh, pretty easy to do because you spawn right there. Number three is we got very lucky. There's always going to be a bottle once per day. So you want to pick up that message in the bottle. And uh, it might not be right at your front door like mine, but go around the whole uh, beach until you find it. And then let's see. It's going to be a DIY. So this was sent to us by Ketchup. Cherry Dress. So now we have a new recipe. This one is probably my most uh, favorite one to do is finding the glowing spot. And I think I saw it earlier today over here somewhere. Here it is. So you want to make sure to find this glowing spot every day and bury 10,000 bells. There are some days that you can bury more, but just to be on the safe side, always bury 10,000 bells and you will create a money tree. So we're going to go ahead and bury that in the hole. And in a couple days, it's going to turn into a money tree with 30,000 bells. So we essentially turn 9,000 bells into 30 because we got 1,000 here. Now, once we already have the shovel, the other thing to do is find these uh, fossils. Usually, you can find about four uh, per day. I think you might be, be able to find five of them. As you can see, there's two, two here close by. And I'll look for the other ones. And here's an example of a money tree. Actually, I have two money trees here. I do want to mention you can move the money trees, so let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Very easy. You just go up to the tree, pick it up, and if you check your item, it's going to be there as the nursery money tree. But we'll take that. We've got a perfect spot for it. That's two spots. That's not where I wanted it. So there we go. Make sure you have enough room around it. That way it grows. Otherwise, it's going to get uh, stuck at that size. Get that. Here's another one. Okay, on to number... Six, I believe. Yeah, number six. So you want to go to Nook's Cranny every day and purchase all the items they have because they change daily. So you want to have them in your inventory. If You just buy them. If you don't want them, you can sell them. But I like to buy them and put them in my storage because you never know who wants to trade it. Not only that, but that's going to increase the chance of my store to upgrade to the next level. I do believe you need 200,000 bells. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. 200,000 bells spent in the shop and 30 days. So these two items here, they 
many people can buy them. The ones in the back only you can buy them one time. Fax machine. Who needs that? Alright. Make sure you check your flowers and your wallpaper and floor. Umbrella also changes. And then if you press R, you can come over here and look at the wallpaper. And also the floor. Now these I don't buy them all because... I don't think I'll use them, but I'll buy some that I think I might like. Maybe for Valentine's, this, this one with hearts. This one looks kind of cool. Alright, so once you buy all your daily stuff, the next thing is, you're gonna need your shovel once again, is to find the money rock. One of the rocks that you have in your island will be able to give you roughly about 16,000 bells. So we go around looking for, sh for some rocks. I know where mine are. You can actually move these rocks by destroying them, but they go to a random spot, so be careful. I like to dig three holes. Make sure you don't have any fruit, because if you eat any fruit, it's going to destroy the rock. That's how you're able to move them. So don't eat any fruit, otherwise you're going to break it and this is not going to work. So we're going to do this. Times. Of course, this is not the money rock, but you see all the items we got there. I'll do one more. We did not get lucky here. So basically, I do this to all my rocks. Make sure I get all my eight items. They're all pretty close to each other. I've got one here. And I want to show you what the money thing looks like, so. And not only that, but you can also get like iron nuggets, which are very useful to craft items. So I pretty much, I, I'll go back and pick all those items back up. See, we'll get lucky here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Totally messed up. Don't get in my way, Billy. Okay, you guys get the point. At the very end, I'll go to the last rock. I know where it's at. On to number eight. Uh, this one is actually it's pretty easy. You just want to go and check the nuke mile terminal because you do get free nuke miles. And that is located right here on your right. So once per day, you're going to get 50 bonus points and it's going to keep uh, increasing. But besides the points, what you want to do is go into Nuke Shopping. Under Special Goods, they will have different daily items. So you can order up to five per day. And if you link your mobile game to this one, you're able to get all these special items here. But that's a different video. Okay, so let's go look through these items. Mr. Flamingo, a lawnmower, and a song. I think I'm gonna order the song. And you can actually send these as gifts as well. I don't know why I need that lawnmower, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get that flamingo. And I think that's so as you select send as a gift, you can send it as a gift as well.
So once you do that, that is your daily item. In the same terminal, you can also check your nuke miles. These also change. So got a couple here that are new to me. Like this these two fences, they're they're new. I guess because I've been purchasing the other ones. Alright, let's go on to number nine. Which is something I normally didn't even bother checking, but there's a lost and found here. And I like to take everything and just sell it if I don't like it, like cardboard boxes, I don't need them. But sometimes you'll get some uh, wallpaper or even items in there. Number 10 is the Able Sisters shop. If you have the Able Sisters shop, if you don't have it, one of these days she'll spawn in this section of your plaza. Make sure you spend 7,000 bells. That way she can set up shop in your island. But uh, once you have the shop, they change their items daily. So make sure you go to the section over here. It's going to be on the right hand side. So normally what I, what I would do before I knew about this, I would just buy the items that were on display. But if you go to this side over here, you're actually able to see through more items and they change daily. So you can scroll through them. That looks kind of cool. Viking top, different colors. Some bottoms, dresses, hatwear. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And you can actually try them on <laughs> a reflector hey these kind of remind me like of uh, that movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the new one kind of all kinds of stuff here so you can look through it buy stuff put it in your it could send it directly to your uh, storage it looks like Harry Potter Maybe we can get a Harry Potter theme going on here so you can look through all this. Make sure you do that daily. And those are 10 things that I do daily besides the typical picking up the fruit, selling all the fruit, selling all the shells. And we've got one money rock to hit. that this one comes with a surprise so if you guys made it to the end of the video i really appreciate it hit that like button if you enjoyed this video if you didn't like it smash that like button anyways if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i do put up a uh, quite a bit of uh, animal crossing videos nowadays so that is a shame we don't have a shovel now don't worry, I'm going to build one and we will get that money. Of course, I need hardwood and I don't have any. Yeah, I'm trying to get another Nintendo Switch, one for my wife, but we haven't had any luck. Because people are buying them, and there's a bunch of uh, resellers on eBay that I've seen, and it's kind of unfair. They're selling it for like $700 when it costs $300. Nintendo did announce that they're doing an up update to the game. Oh man, I missed that. Orchid Mantis. So they're going to be adding some cool stuff to the Animal Crossing. So I'm 
waiting for that update patiently. I think I needed a hardwood, right? Yeah, I need one more. Why can't I find hardwood? These are all like wildflowers. I didn't plant none of those, so. Okay, now that we have this, smack that for not letting us build it before. Craft our shovel. Smash the A button, and it will build it faster. Keep crafting. All right, let's go get that money. It's over here. I think my island is currently a three-star island, so I'm still working on, on it. I'm not doing any time traveling or anything like that. I want it to be legit. There we go. That is the money rock. So yeah, those are 10 things I normally do every day. Collect that money. And I'm going to go farm some uh, clams so I can do some tuna fish. Tuna and blue marlin farming because I don't have those fishes. And my pier is over here. So this is where they would be located. Just another little tip. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You found maybe something new that you didn't know. I will go into my house and... Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. This is my living room.